Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So I'm about to begin the process of creating my diorama of the USS Hornet and I figured since I was going to start that I might as well make a tutorial video on that. Here is my Cushing diorama that I did and I'm going to be attempting something very similar to this. For this one here I actually use this clear caulk but this time around, I'm going to be using this liquid latex gloss gel. I'm happy with the way the caulk turned out, but I've heard of other people using this uh, gloss gel, so I'm gonna try it this time around. So the first thing is you obviously need something to put the model on, um, the diorama piece. And what I like is I like buying these display cases this one was actually for a model car, but I just repurposed it as a diorama case. And, you know, I don't like to really dust my models, so I try to put them in cases. So that's the same thing that I'm going to be doing with the Hornet as well. So let me show you the case that I got for that. Okay, so here's the case I'm going to be using, the Crystal Clear Display Case by Signature Series. Looks like it's meant to hold a football trophy, or it's also got a picture of a car here. Um, using this size case because I need a longer one for an aircraft carrier. Uh, they do sell smaller ones. I got this from Hobby Lobby, but they do have various sizes. It runs about $20 for this large one. However, they usually have 40% off coupons, so I don't spend that. But let's, uh, let's get this out and take a look. Okay, so here's the display case. As you see, it comes with a nice base here and also the top that you can put on it so that protects it from dust or the elements. And I like using these, but you can use a wood base. You can make your own base. You can use those wood backing um, things that they sell at craft stores too. Um, but this is what I prefer to use. And this is all plastic, so you're gonna be able to paint on this and use primer just like just like a normal plastic model kit so you're not going to need this base right now you're not going to need the top so we just need the base part right here so let's go ahead and get started the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a primer to this to help the paint stick uh, the spray paint that I've chosen here says that it is a paint and a primer. However, I'm going to put on a primer first anyways, just to be certain. Also, make sure that you wear something over your mouth and nose so that you don't breathe it in. Wear it in a well-ventilated area, or better yet, go outside and do this. Okay, now that the primer's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add my ocean color. This is what I'm gonna be using here. It's a darker blue color. Uh, I looked at some pictures and some paintings of the Hornet Doolittle Raid, and I kind of like this color to be the ocean, um, kind of a stormy sea. Also, make sure you test your spray can before you put it on here. Um, yep, so let's get started. Okay, now that I'm done spraying my colors on there, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray some clear on here, just to protect it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do now that everything's been painted and sealed is I'm basically going to put the ship on here and I also have a nameplate and I'm gonna do that as well. So I'm just gonna use super glue to do that.
Okay, and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open this gloss gel up and we're just gonna spread it over the entire thing. The main thing that's gonna be important here is just about coverage. Once we get everything covered, then we can start to sculpt and do other things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that process. So when you're applying this, you want to go ahead and get it right up to the ship so that it's seamless between that and the actual water. Obviously towards the bow you're going to have that wake, so you're going to want more over there. But right now it's mostly about coverage. so. I'm just trying to get this up to the ship, get the coverage going, and then I can worry about doing some of these other things a little bit later. And you can always add on to this, so if you want to add some, some more waves or uh, some other effects, you can do that after. The important thing right now is to get this onto the display so that you can get to that point. Another effect that I'm doing is I have the ship listing to one side. So actually on this side, it's a little bit raised up. So I wanna make sure that I get this right in there. So I'm just kind of working my way. I wanna be careful not to like splash it onto the actual model. So I'm slowly but surely getting it over here. All right, so now we've got our coverage all set, and now I'm gonna actually start to make the water more realistic. I'm gonna grab this spoon here, and I'm just basically going to just start doing this. I'm gonna do this all over the model. And then once I get done with this, I'm going to work on making the, the shape of the, the, the waves from the ship. Okay, now that I have the waves done with the spoon, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a toothpick. And using a reference photo, I'm going to make the wake out from the way that the ship is moving. Okay, it's been about half of a day. I let this dry overnight and I just wanted to show you how it's starting to dry clear. So don't be alarmed that the stuff is all white. It will dry clear. Okay, so the Liquitex has fully dried. As you can see, it it's pretty much all clear. There's a little bit of a white hue in some of these areas. But that's not a big deal because now that the base color has been put on and the Liquitex is over it, I'm actually going to be putting on a sea blue color um, over the top of it. Now you can experiment with different colors. I see people using greens, um, you know, maybe medium or light blues as well. Based on some of the pictures that I saw and some of the paintings of the Doolittle Raid, I have decided to use this color to add a little bit of depth to this. So I'm gonna use a very thin, like almost like water um, layer over this. So let's get going on that. Almost like a, a water. And then I'm just gonna go over the top here. 
You just want it to kind of pull into these different areas and it's just going to naturally fill in and you'll get a nice effect. All right, so now that I've got my sea blue down, what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and making the, the wake around the ship. And the way that I'm doing that is I'm taking some Liquitex, which is what I used before, and I'm watering it down with just regular water. And then I'm just brushing some along the side of the ship here. Remember, this will dry clear. And then I'm taking cotton and I'm stretching it out like this, very thin. And then I'm just kind of putting it down here. Push it up against the ship. a little bit of Liquitex on top of it. And I'm just going to keep layering this. I'm just going to keep going all the way around. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll check back once I'm through. Now another thing that I'm doing here is I'm not just doing like a straight line of white is I'm trying to feather it in because you don't want, you know, dark blue, you know, almost black ocean and then just a straight line of white. You want to kind of feather it in. So I'm just pulling cotton like extremely thin like this, getting it wet along the edges and I'm just kind of adding that on. Sorry, they're kind of sticky. Tweezers actually work pretty good here. You see, I just want to get that on there like that, very wet. And then just kind of feathering it, and it'll kind of pull itself. You know, give you the illusion of, of a flow. So you do one more like that. Pull it down. Just grab onto it. Okay, so I've created the wake of the ship now with the cotton and I'm pretty satisfied with the way that it turned out. So now I'm just going to take some more Liquitex on my brush and I'm just going to go over it again. And this is just going to kind of seal in the work. And you can build layers on this if you'd like. Um, like I think I want to make an effect on the side of the ship or maybe there's a wave that's kind of hitting the side of it. Um, but I want to seal this in first before I do that. So let me go through this, we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and take a look. All right, so now I want to add an effect on the ship here to where the water is hitting the side. So I've got a piece of cotton that looks like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it right here. Set it down like that. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. And you can make this look a little bit more realistic by taking your brush. on there. All right, so now what I'm doing is I've got a paintbrush and I've got a little bit of white paint on here and I'm just wiping this off as much as I can so that I can dry brush. So once pretty much all of the paint is off of it, I'm going in here and I'm just kind of highlighting the tops of the waves where I think they could be white. 
and also a little bit of dry brushing around here. Okay, so we're basically at the finish line here. We've created the water, we've created the wake using cotton, and we've added some of the dry brushing and the white to the white caps. Now the last step that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add some Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss. And the reason why I'm gonna use this is because it will level without leaving brush strokes. If I were to brush stroke the Liquitex back onto it, with a paintbrush, I would get lines, but this stuff will just kind of self-level and it will give the appearance of everything being wet and it will also prove um, as a secondary function to seal the work in. So here's what we're gonna do. I advise you not to do this over your model. We're just gonna pour some of this in here. And this stuff dries pretty quickly, but I would leave it for a day. I'm just gonna take this, just with a paintbrush, get the paintbrush wet, and then we're just gonna brush it on. And you can see already how shiny that is, and you don't wanna stick in the same place for too long because this stuff will start drying and then you'll start making marks with it. So you just wanna lay it down and move on to the next area. And I'm gonna do this all over the whole model and I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and here is the finished diorama with the USS Hornet with the Doolittle Raid on, on its deck. Just use cotton to make the wave splashes against the hull, Liquitex for the water. Some more wave splashes there. And you know, there's a lot of different ways to make these ocean dioramas, but um, you know, I want to make this just because this is a technique that I like to do and if anybody was thinking about giving it a try, you don't really need a whole lot to just turn, you know, your model into, you know, a set piece. So I hope you enjoyed the making of this and please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I appreciate it. I read them all and I hope everybody has a wonderful day and stay safe out there.